Now it's time to break it. Welcome back to the Split Screeners Podcast. We are your hosts, Zach. What's up? Aaron. I'm Nick. This is that other guy. And it's his. I don't think I don't think I introduced this in the last episode. (laughs) We talked about last night at the bar. Yeah. Yeah. How we never Where's missed our it. white boy? Yeah. And then I definitely, I, yeah, I'm almost positive right. I missed it. Uh, this is our movie, movie, bookie, bookie episode. For those of you that don't, haven't seen these before, this is our movie book club where every week one of us recommends a movie. We all watch it together and then we give our review. We did watch RRR. Rise, Revolt. Something? Roar. Yeah. Roar. Ram, Rashid. It's Rise, Roar, Revolt. Okay. It, it's like ten different things, <laughs> depending on. Fire, Water. And all the like awesome. Like the actual, like. Title title was Rise Roar Revolt. In, so we're, in but they the use US. US. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna deep dive into RRR, what we thought about it. We'll give our reviews at the end of the episode, so stick stay tuned for that. You can watch it on Netflix. <coughs> which I suggest you watch it on Netflix. We watch it on Hulu. <laughs> I mean um, I suggest you watch it. <laughs> this was Aaron's pick. Yep. So we'll have Aaron start off. Before Aaron gets into that, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're dropping. Bangers. Bangers. And at the end of the episode, we'll have Gavin's pick for our next movie. Stay tuned. It's a banger. Banger. It's, it's my lit. <laughs> it's dope. <laughs> sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm thinking of scenes from the movie. Not my god, because I haven't seen it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if you have watched any of our movie, movie, bookie, bookies in the past, you know exactly what movie this is going to be. If not, possibly. <laughs> uh, but Eric, you want to start us off with? Yeah. Er. Er. So yeah, I picked up Er. Uh, I watched uh, the Honest trailer for it, which was pretty hilarious, and that was my first exposure to this film. And so I thought this was just going to be uh, silly as fuck, mm. fun, just good movie, which it was. But outside of that, it's actually just a really it is. good movie. It's, yeah, it's a solid uh, movie. Good story of friendship. Uh, good action. Um, I can't say enough about it. Um, dance. <laughs> Choreo. Hey, hey, was outstanding. hey, you yeah, learned was. one Hindi word. What was it? <laughs> oh, I forgot. I, I was forgot. from the... Nacho! Oh yes, Nacho. Nacho, 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 Nacho. Yeah, but it was a really good movie. Uh, so that took me by surprise. I didn't think I was going to like it as a movie. Uh, I watched it multiple times. <laughs> yeah, I, I will watch this again. This is one of my favorite movies we of the must, year. We must force the women to watch it. Did this come out this year? <laughs> yes. Yes. It yes, was, it was going delayed. Like 2020. It was delayed for COVID. Yeah, it was it supposed was... to come out in 2020. Uh... It's probably good they didn't. I realize why they probably wanted to wait until after COVID. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of people on the sets. Yeah. <laughs> but either way, um, that's about <laughs> it. I don't want to. Are we doing spoilers? Oh yeah, yeah. I oh, think we we'll, we can we'll all get into that. We'll drop a spoiler alert on yeah. the bottom of the screen. Yeah, we can on the top of the screen. Well, the well the if you look over here, Zach. <laughs> And Nick and Aaron? Yeah, right there. Spoilers. Spoilers. Do we want to play the trailer for RRR for those of the Or we, we probably should. Okay. Uh, just so they know what they're getting into. We're oh. putting it right here. Oh, no. It's we're right <laughs> over there. <laughs> we're right there. Are you right here. Are you? Right, right there. <laughs> all right. I count right three, guys. We'll all watch the trailer. One, two, three. Oh. Hey, there it is. Nacho, 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 nacho. 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 Banger. <laughs> Yeah, beam! Let's go beam! Now, I haven't watched a lot of Hindi films. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, it's still going. I'm going to talk over it, though. Uh, really good uh, Hindi movie. And this director has apparently done a couple others. I don't know what they are. I am interested in them, but I don't know um, them either. It, it's kind of his style. But this is probably his biggest film. But I'm gonna look into it and see what else he's done. It has gotten me interested in this like genre. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the proper word like genre or. They're considered Bollywood movies. Yeah. I know, but yeah, like, this branch of film 
Yeah, which movies. is generally out of my wheelhouse. Yes. Yeah, I will. But I'm very interested now. I will say, I was not. I had no idea what it was. When yeah. The first one was. Yeah, we didn't watch a trailer. No. Um, but you can read right here and watch the honest trailer. It's it's hilarious. Uh, I didn't read much into it before we watched it. I I kind of wanted to go in blind, and I was mm-hmm. so pleasantly surprised by this movie. It is such a cute tale of. Like, the action's amazing, the dance scenes are great, but at its core, it's such a cute tale of, like, friendship yeah. between the two main characters, which I I absolutely loved. I was dead silent. I don't think I said I a word through no, the whole movie. I hate when I'm like, I've seen a movie and I want you to love it, and I'm sitting there next to you, hoping, like, you get, like, you get reactions, and you're just... Yeah, you're like, the whole does he hate it? Does I was he like it? I was dead faced. Yeah. Just I was so into it. <laughs> it sucked me in so much that like yeah, it, and it's a long movie. Yeah. It's three hours it, it, and and it feels like three hours, but it's yeah, very but enjoyable, it's enjoyable start to finish. Hours. Like they could have tacked on another forty minutes, I would have been fine. <laughs> it's just, uh, the serious notes, the bonkers notes. <laughs> it, it somehow just all conglomerates and it works. It's like a perfect balance of like fantastical but like serious at the same time. Like, yeah. There's there's physical feats that probably aren't possible. <laughs> no. But it looks realistic and especially uh, yeah. shooting those bolt action rifles just like <laughs> semi automatics <laughs> without reloading a bolt. Flipping onto a tower with your friend on your back or your the shoulders. piggyback seats. I, oh, I thought, man. So good. I thought that was I was like, they're probably not M1 Grands, but I thought they were similar to those. I don't know exactly what they were. Through the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's how we were going to talk this entire episode. <laughs> how did we know what we were talking about? <laughs> They'd figure it out. They'd figure it out. <laughs> we'll if they're our real friends, they would know what we were saying. <laughs> So for uh, you mentioned your first exposure was honest trailers. Mm-hmm. For me, I think it was two or three months prior, like right after the film released on Netflix. Mm-hmm. My manager, who we sometimes talk about movies and like TV shows together with, comes up to me. He's like, "There's this movie on Netflix that's not really my type of movie that I would usually <coughs> watch, but I watched it and I think <coughs> you should watch it because it was awesome." Yeah. And I'm like, "Okay, what was it?" He's like, "R R R." I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> er. What's the name of it? Er. No, R. Is this a R. I'm like, what is it? He's like, it's an Indian movie. I'm like, like Native Americans? <laughs> He's like, no, no, no. Just go on Netflix, look it up, watch the trailer. You should watch it. So I watched the trailer and then I put it on my watch list for the next three months because I wanted to watch it. Yeah. But three, but it is a three hour long Yeah, movie. and I didn't know when I would have time and like, when I would watch it, and then you finally announced that it was going to be your movie, 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 movie. Yeah. And I was like, yes! <laughs> finally, an excuse! <laughs> an excuse! Uh, but this movie, like, as I was describing to you guys, because we, like, I think me and Gavin watched it, like, You've separately, it but together. Twice. Like, we <laughs> watched it the same advanced. time. Yeah, we, in advance. we watched it like the week it well, was with, chosen. With mm-hmm. a weird recording schedule, this has been the movie, movie, bookie, bookie for a while. six weeks now. <laughs> Seven weeks. <laughs> but yeah, the, the week it was announced, I think I watched it one night, and then like, I, I watched it the you, next day. I texted you right after I got done with it, and you're like, oh, I should I watch it right now. I'm like, no. It's too late to yeah, start. Yeah, because it's like midnight, and I was like, yeah, I'll, just, I'll just watch it real quick. No, you cannot be sleeping when you watch this movie. <laughs> no, no, you gotta be wide awake. All right. In a word, this movie is just awesome. Yeah, it is and fantastic. I, it's so one of the go out and watch it if you haven't seen it. It's also honestly one of the best action movies I've yeah. Yeah, seen in a while. It is in my top ten. <coughs> I don't remember exactly where it is. When we here. when we watch movies like this, and this has happened a couple times since we started this series, uh, the gentleman comes to mind. Mm-hmm. Um, in Bruges comes to mind where yeah. like I didn't really know a, a lot about the movie, uh, and it's going to end up being like a regular movie in my rotation. Yeah, movie absolutely. Approach. And, and this is one of these. That's why we started this. Oh, I know. Yeah. This, well, it's working. It's not the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> we also started to watch some crappy movies. <laughs> um, Which we still will. Hey, I, I take that position very seriously. You, yes, you do. We, and I have shown you some very good bad movies. And are they not in my top five? Yes. Some of them. <laughs> um, okay. 
favorite scene from the movie? So, the dance off. Me? Yeah, we'll start with you. Oh, sorry. The bridge scene. Yeah, that that's uh, got to be. That was uh, that was part of the trailer, and I, I was yeah. walking, no, I saw that on TikTok for the first time. And I'm like, what the hell is this movie? Not knowing <coughs> the same movie that my boss had just told me about. For those of you that haven't seen it, spoiler alert. Uh, spoiler. Spoiler. <laughs> there is a kid that is drowning in the river. One After of the main tank, or the train explodes. <laughs> one of the main characters is up on top of the bridge where the train just exploded. The other main character is on a beach way down below. They lock eyes, and in that moment, the one up on the bridge is communicating solely with hand gestures, yeah, movements. And uh, the one down below fully understood everything that he was what? saying. They used a rope between a motorcycle and a horse. Um, Went off the opposite sides of the, the bridge. The sides of the bridge. To swing. <laughs> to use the kid. To use a <coughs> parabolic force of going in the other direction. What? Look. Oh, and he grabs the flag to get wet to wrap around as he goes through the flag. So what he no, I didn't know why. So he, I thought he was just doing it to show off the flag at first. I was like, that's pretty I, I sick. I 100% thought... He himself in the fire. I'm like, oh, okay. I 100% thought the exact same thing. I'm like, is that just like, yeah, fucking... Uh, India, it, and I was like, it's legal. fine, but... Is it, is it legal for us to technically have this part of the scene playing behind us right now? <laughs> uh, uh, in five, I mean, five seconds, in, we can we can do the scene of him doing the hand movements. Well, five second increments. And the, the sure. greatest thing about it is, like, we're, I would have understood if it was just a, like... True. Like, yeah. honest trailers could do it, we can do it. Yes. Like, because I got rope from this. I figured that, like, rope and then come around. I thought they were going to, like, he was going to come up there and be like, here's the plan. But they don't do that. No. It's just it's no it's when, brilliant. When he gets up to the top of the bridge, they don't even say. They just kind of lock eyes and nod at each other. Yeah, like and right 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 the rope, and yeah. then they just go. Yeah, they, they don't speak for the, a good while. And this is early in the movie, and it's, it's not really any spoilers. Uh, I guess I guess there's no real spoilers yeah. in there. Just watch um, the movie. It's just <laughs> spoiling how awesome the scene is. Yeah. Like. Uh, <laughs> but it is one of the best scenes in the movie, and the fact that yeah. it happens so early will be <laughs> an epic part it. of this. Not. Only just the hand gestures and the actual action of what they just did, but like, you're saying one person's on top of the bridge and the other person's at the beach. In your head, that could be very close. Yeah. No, no, there's yeah. this this bridge is like a hundred feet high in the air, <laughs> and this guy's like four hundred feet in that yeah. direction, probably four hundred meters in that direction, and they lock eyes. <laughs> it's just how bros do it. But then what follows is a beautiful montage of them becoming brothers. Yeah. And it lasts for ten minutes. <laughs> it is the longest montage I've ever seen. I don't know if it's quite ten minutes, but Do you know what's crazy about that montage? It but it's a very good montage because it shows perfectly like how time is passing. Yeah. yeah. How they're both because we because you know we're the audience, we know like what they're both doing, and like how they're both just barely just Right next to each other, without ever realizing yeah. it, it is just a real. Also, Rom, greatest wingman ever. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. <coughs> yeah, yes. uh, I like to imagine them. myself as Rom. Because <laughs> I know yours is different. What was your favorite scene in the movie? Uh, my favorite scene in the movie uh, it was near the end, is the prison break scene. <laughs> that whole. Just the, how it's choreographed and everything, it's ridiculous, 100%. But it's choreographed really fucking Wait, Are you cool. talking while, while they're still in the prison or when they're in the jungle? I, I love the piggyback escape. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, like 15 so minutes they the still. kill about 50, 100 people. The, the, the one where like they're climbing up the fucking thing yeah. and they swing and just kick the motherfucker off. How is and that And they possible? stop perfectly straight like this. Like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the... the there's a lot of great <laughs> scenes like that. When they're jumping through the thing and he just fucking just, <laughs> just fucking just no scopes to yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It do, it the doesn't stop. Right. Like like if if there's not action going on, there's a motion. There's yeah. there's a lot of comedy that happens or there's a lot of just like you like you feel it somehow at least for me because like I said it just took me so out of my own body when I was watching this movie. Like, I, I, I could feel, I really connected with Beam. I thought Beam was yeah. amazing. And, like, yeah. I felt what Beam was feeling. That's how much I got into this movie. Yeah. It was crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, and this director did an amazing Same with job. Rom, like, especially when it shows Rom start to, like, really doubt himself. You really feel for yeah. her in that scene. It's just, Beam, uh, 
it's such a good. I <coughs> I cried the first time I watched this movie. Like, <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I can see it. I didn't Absolutely. tear up, but I did definitely like the see mo- that. like the like the breakdown of their like relationship. Yeah, and when the whipping. He, yes. Oh. Yeah. That scene is really sure. that scene is really hard to watch, but it also is like an important part. But then you see, part. um, Rob. Beams. Beams like, like, in, uh, like, complete focus to stay like on his feet and yeah. like not give in. And yeah. he's just to not, not kneel. Yeah. Also, that queen. Fuck, fuck. Yeah, yeah she's a bitch. Governors and what? Can we do it? All the actors were. Phenomenal. Do you have a different favorite scene from? Uh, the bridge is right up there. Yeah, I was gonna say the piggyback scene. Yeah. I love the nacho dance. Oh man, um, that dance went so. F- I didn't think it was gonna go like that. No, I didn't either. I wish that not only had I seen this before I was married, that I had <laughs> that in case that had, didn't happen, that I had time to teach our groom's uh, party <laughs> yes, that for your wedding. Um, and that was a fuck. Oh shit! I again in that dance scene there. Your main focus is the dance, but again, you're, it's still tying in the relationship of these two. Yeah. Because towards the end of the dance, <coughs> Rom gives up so that Beam yeah, can impress the girl. The yeah. Best wingman. Best ever. wingman ever. And, and what's crazy is that's not even, the, that's not even the poem. He yeah. did. back again. <laughs> and then the girl comes up with the two-seater car. She's and, in one seat. Yep. And he's like, no, no, I can walk home. Yeah, you best take wingman. him. Uh, yeah, yeah just, what's crazy is the fact he he threw that game to be a good wingman. But it's not even the like one of the best things he did to be a wingman there. But, like the first encounter when he drops the nails. That's and, actually what I was gonna say. I think that was my one of my favorite trying to be different because again you've you've all named some of my favorite scenes. But yeah, there's just so many. Um, and it's it's such a small part and not something that you really think about. But Beam falls in love with a girl, wants to talk to her, doesn't know how to. T- they speak two completely different languages, so it's hard. So, Rom grabs nails from a booth, drops them to pop her tires, walks Beam right to where he knows the car's gonna stop. Yep. And then offers to have Beam take her out. Yeah. Yeah. How, how did you know? I put nails on the road. <laughs> pop your tires. Shake your head. Shake your head. No. <clears throat> yeah. He said it's gonna take five hours. <laughs> and yeah, he doesn't know any. I, I loved a little like head bob. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I started like lightly doing that in life. Oh, so do I. Like it, it's such a good expression for like. Uh, <laughs> like yeah. no. uh, oh, I, I will say, uh, if I had to put it like another. The, the introduction scenes uh, for Behe- Beam and Rom, or I really enjoy them, but I really like Beams with a tiger and everything. That's a really fun... Both both these characters feel like you're playing them in a video game. Like, the yeah. way oh, they yeah. act and, like, their action yeah. scenes. Rom, Rom's, God, I want a video game of this. Rom's introduction is, like, one of the coolest fucking things. Just him just beating the fuck out of an entire... Oh, oh yeah. yeah, and he's not like that's a great winning. Scene too. Like he's getting the shit beat out. He's too. surviving though. Yeah, but he's just he like I'm out ahead. Use <laughs> determination. Uses I just yeah, yeah, like all the other terrible. soldiers just watching. Yeah. Like, what <laughs> the fuck? Uh, he comes like crawling back in, all the <clears throat> and bruise, gets back into formation. I will. I will recommend that if you do watch this movie, which, as you can tell, I think all four of us highly recommend that oh, you watch yeah. this movie. Yeah. Um, you should watch it in the original language. Yes, don't watch um, with, the dub. With subtitles. I, I'm i sure the dub is fine. I'm sure that they I probably did a great job. I have seen the dub. And there, it is is, fine. there is a severe point in the middle where things would get very confusing. <laughs> yeah. um, it's, if it's you were funny. watching the whole thing. It's really but, funny. Oh, I'm sure. It's... It's... <laughs> yeah. But, but it will bring you out of the movie a it bit. It basically yeah. starts with the nails and the car tire part yeah. and ends up after the market. Yeah. Um, yeah, I watched course. the English dub the first time I watched this movie, and I, I got to about the halfway through the market scene. I'm like, what the fuck <laughs> is going on? He was speaking perfect English this whole time. What's going <laughs> on? You guys definitely English. understand each other. <laughs> I don't have to but watch why not understand? <laughs> um, yeah, this this is one of the best movies we have watched for movie movie bookie bookie, which is and yeah, I, I don't know where it's gonna fall yet, but it's one of the best movies I watched this year. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be up there on my list. Yeah, so right I'm now. glad it came out this year. Yeah. We've been, I, I haven't really watched a good like action movie, uh, 
since like the first Kingsman. <laughs> There hasn't been that many like good ones really. Like yeah. like they've been they've been all right ones. Oh, like, train. <coughs> baby Driver was sick. Yeah, yeah. Oh fuck yeah, baby. But Kingsman came out after Baby Driver, I thought. No, no Baby came Driver came. Oh. Well baby then Driver. Baby Driver. Because yeah. I did love Baby Driver. Yeah, this was but the, but the action feels awesome. There's a little bit of shaky CGI here and there, but there, there the CG's is. not great, but it's not so it's not bad enough to be distracting. Yeah. I will say that the animals and the CGI and the animals looked fucking phenomenal. God, they, were, they, they were probably the worst CG in the movie though. Yeah, I know too. That's the funny thing. You, you can tell they're fake. Uh, I always I like the tiger because you can definitely tell it's fake, but it's still like it looks powerful and how it moves mm-hmm. and everything, and I really liked. Yeah, it served its purpose. <laughs> so two things <coughs> before we start moving on. Sorry, um, I was putting it on my list. Okay. Um, I don't think we've actually like mentioned what the story of the whole movie is without like the main tw- twist. We don't want to expose that, of course. But like, mm-hmm. the movie is basically um, this English. I want to say general, a lord. It, it, he is a governor. Governor. This, this takes place during. Col- uh, Pre-independent India when they were being colonized by England. Yeah. So this governor and his wife come to this village. They really like the henna tattoos that this little girl is giving his wife. So they pay her, pay the village like two coins yeah. and steal two the pence. child, two pence, and basically steal Stirred. the child. <laughs> so this kicks kicks off the story of um, two hundred being, being going to find and rescue her. From the governor and meeting Rom, who is on his own mission. And how they explain Beam like to the governor, like he's not to the actual governor, like is like henchman. Like what the hell is his name? It says it like I don't. Anyways, uh, it, it's kind of like like the they're like the, the people of India are very like uh, like of that tribe are very like very docile and they won't cause any issues. But this one motherfucker is made to be a giant badass. The shepherd. The shepherd. And I... And they show that with the tiger scene. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they do. Yeah, early, early in the movie. And there's some... There are some, like, scenes that are shot so beautifully. Like, when you introduce Bean... Oh, yeah. Um, you come in at, like, an upside down look at the wa- reflection on the water. And it's, like, a perfect, like, mirror as the camera turns to, like, what's reality like the actual real beam instead of the reflection i thought that shot was yeah. beautiful yeah. all right so, so we have, have, oh, go ahead i i it's I, a good I, movie it's really hard to like it's very good um, that's a good move the character development throughout i think is really good because like when you first introduced her on like he just kind of seems like an asshole. Yeah. 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 Like, like he, a low he grade. works for the military and he's going to do his job. You don't know anything no else about it. By the letter. Yeah. Yeah. But he's damn good at it. Yeah. He's getting brilliant at yeah. what he does. And then as this movie goes on, you especially, and we brought it up a lot, as, when they start getting into that relationship with him and Beam, where like you start seeing these little things about Rom that make him who he is. And mm-hmm. it, it's just. So well done. Uh, it's so fucking well done. There's, I, re- that, there's a reason I cried. I I applaud the shit out of this movie because yeah, it, and they're really this not, is op- yeah this has opened me up to a whole different genre of movies. Yeah, I want to check out this director. Too. Yeah, I've I, actually started getting advertisements for movies from Bollywood on Facebook after watching this movie. And I, these characters were uh, based on some real freedom fighters in India. That had never met. So this director was like, "Hey, what if those two <laughs> if they they looked up and were friends?" And bam, you get this. Yeah, because great, I, fantastic. Because I think tale. like in actual history, they were like in two different time periods. Yeah, I don't know the exact dates, but like, I know they they were never connected. Yeah, but they are based crazy. on two real freedom fighters of India. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They kind of explain a part of that story at the end when they're doing like the whole um, dance number during the credits, like right before the credits. Mm-hmm. What? Uh, well, when I first heard about when I first looked up because I looked up a little bit when I first watched this uh, before I watched it and I what people kept saying about <coughs> that, like reasons of is that like the movie is like a party on set for everybody and I really agree with that like, yeah, yeah. you can tell that like even the bad guys are getting killed and, like everyone is having yeah. fun on that set yeah and 
I would have loved to be in that movie. Hell yes. Oh, man, that'd be amazing. I would have been the tiger. I, I would have been fine with that. <laughs> All right, Zach, what do you got? It's just like the fucking, like, cats, just fucking bulky. You just look so, <laughs> like a shitty... It has been a while tiger. since we've done a movie, movie, bookie, bookie. Yeah. I feel like it's the appropriate time at this point in this video to rate the movie yeah. out of 10. Uh, I rated this movie a long time ago when I first watched it, like, right after. Uh, I'm going with a 9 out of 10. It's rare for me, but I am going 9.5. I was going to also go 9.5. I think for, for what this movie is and what it did, it's damn near perfect. Yeah. I think this is one of the closest things to a perfect movie that I've watched this entire time. Oh, before. my God. Yeah. yeah, it's... I'm going to add it also agree with you guys. 9.5. You might convince me to move it up a little bit. <laughs> like, I... Like, it's I, I almost want to say 10, but it's not quite there. Well, and it's hard to give anything a 10. Yeah, I, I don't give I've done that to I don't give nine slightly, so. at, at the end of the day, there's always going to be something better. So yeah. if, we, if we put an RRR at a 10, in two years <coughs> when something else comes out that is better than RRR, there's nowhere for yeah. it to go. At a 9.5, it is... No, but for it how is good this is. So enjoyable. I will watch this movie at least once a year, probably oh, yeah. for the rest of my life. Yeah, I, I already want to watch it. Yeah, again, me too. It's only been a week. I want to see if I catch stuff that I missed. The yeah. first oh yeah. Time for that, sure. That's why, like, when I when I'm rating my movies, I do it by year, so it's a little easier for me to give like a ten or like a nine point five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I kept whispering to Zach during it because I noticed something that I didn't notice before. Yeah, I'm excited to go back through because <laughs> yeah, I need fun. to. I'm gonna show Tori, hopefully you, in the next couple days. I hope that like we're home when you do that because <laughs> I want Steph to watch yeah. it too. Yeah, she needs to. And everybody and, needs to see this film. Uh, when it, I watched it with Angie, now. yeah, she and she really liked the parts she saw. She doesn't really like to watch the the whipping scene again. <laughs> that is, that is <laughs> it is hard to watch. It is. Exp Weird question. Mm -hmm. R R R or the Batman. Currently, I would put RRR above the Batman. Yeah. Zach, where would you put it? It's close, though. The, mm -hmm. Well, I know the I got, I, have, I now have them rated the same. I don't want to give any spoilies. <clears throat> uh, this is better than the Batman. Yeah. The what Batman... I love. I really enjoyed the Batman, too. The Batman is the best superhero movie that I've seen this it's year. It's the only one on my list. Uh, yeah, it will probably be the only one in my top ten when we do our top ten ranking at the end of the year. Yeah. Um, I like. I think I like this movie better. I won't be shocked if this once I when I, once I sit down and think about it, I won't be shocked if this beats one or two on my list of movies that I saw this year. It's in my top five, one hundred percent. Oh yeah. It's, I don't think. And it's I don't leaving, know if it's number one. But I don't know if it's leaving my top three. Yeah. Same. It's. it's yeah. It's just so much. We'll see how the next yeah. month pans out. Yeah, we uh, still got Black Panther, yeah. which could be the best superhero we, movie. We'll be watching next week. Well, Fingers we, crossed. Two months left in this year to finalize that list. For What's that kind of funny about this is both Zach and I were like, it's like it's really good. I'm really excited for you guys to watch it. And I could tell, because you guys don't always believe us. I, did, I, I, I picked this movie strictly because I thought it would be hilarious to watch. <laughs> and it was. And it was. But it was so much more. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Alright, you think it's time to move on? I think so. Any parting words? Watch R R R. Nacho, 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 nacho. That's what I might. Fuck yeah. Um, yeah, watch R R R. Um, and uh, make sure not to waste two British pounds sterling on a bullet. Do that. Such a, okay, actually my last part was <laughs> such a good reoccurring like villainous speech. Yeah. Oh yeah. Was the don't waste. Can we do a top ten? See you next Tuesdays in movies. Oh, hundred percent. That'd be a fun one. She would be on there. I don't she know. She sucks. Top she five somewhere. She she had a very. Uh, I want him to bleed. Early Circe vibe. Use this one. It should it should just be see you next Tuesdays in media. In general, because yeah, sir, she's got to make my list. <laughs> uh, she's up there. All right, Gavin, it is your turn. All right. Next week, we will be talking about Evil Dead 2. Do you have a synopsis? <laughs> got a trailer? For those of you that don't know, we did watch Evil Dead 1 and do a review on that earlier this year. <coughs> go check like, that out if yeah, you want to see the series. Go back and check that one out. 
Gavin's next movie, spoiler alert, will be Army of Darkness, so we can complete the trilogy. Yeah, because, but that we are four weeks away. From. And my current standpoint on Ash Williams is he's a big fat pussy. Fuck. Hey, only against bookshelves. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very lightweight little bookshelves. IKEA bookshelves. So here's here's the synopsis. The second of three films in the Evil Dead series, it, it is part horror, part comedy with Ash Williams, played by Bruce Campbell, once again battling horrifying demons at a secluded cabin in the woods. After discover, discovering an audio tape left by a college professor that contains voices reading from the Book of the Dead, uh, Ash's girlfriend Linda becomes possessed by evil spirits uh, that are awakened by the voices on the tape. Ash soon discovers there is no escaping the woods. You watch your fucking mouth about Pizza Papa. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, wait a second, that synopsis sound like Evil Dead 1. Yeah, that's basically it. I, I, I don't remember if this movie is so, a remake or I a will, sequel or somehow both. It's I'm a sequel. Because, because they did make a remake of Evil Dead. Oh, well, yeah. E that was like so 2013. Good. It was very bloody. I'm gonna, Evil Dead 2 picks up exactly where Evil Dead, the first Evil Dead left off. I'm going to throw this out there. Evil Dead 2 is my least favorite of the trilogy. I agree. Yeah. Evil Dead 2 is my least It's fun, but it's yeah. not a great movie. Yeah. And I'm I, sorry. I enjoy the first one. But I think it's important oh, 100%. for Army of Darkness. Because Army, Army of Darkness is a little fucking out there, and it won't make... T like, it makes sense, but it doesn't make great sense unless you have the bad story. <laughs> um, according to Bruce Campbell, Evil Dead 2 is a requel. Oh. Requel. Huh? So it's a remake slash a sequel. Reboot. Sequel. Yeah. Hmm. So he's still a pussy. I, there might be a bookshelf. He might kick again. the bookshelf's ass in the second. This is where he. I, I am. I'm he hoping my whole character development. Look, I'm telling you, in Army of Darkness, you will fall in love with Ash Williams. I'm hoping because I just Evil Dead Two. You might still not be the biggest fan. Army of Darkness. You will love <laughs> Bruce Campbell's character. In Have you not seen? I, Army of Darkness? I haven't seen any of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I did this, because he hadn't seen I any of them. I just missed the first two. Yeah, I, Army I'm of hoping is that I love him by the end of this, because I just spent $40 on a <laughs> on four-disc Army of Darkness steelbook. That it is looks beautiful. badass. Yeah, Army so of Darkness is... It's, yeah, I love that it, It's so first fucking two funny. And, oh. But stay tuned. We're going to talk about Army of Darkness for about yeah. four weeks. <laughs> Evil Dead 2 next week. This was our review of RRR. Uh, all four of us will tell you 100% go watch this movie. This yeah. is not this is not a cat situation. This is not a Brady Bunch reunion. Uh, hey, you watch your fucking family mouth. reunion. <laughs> family success. It's a very Brady movie. This is a sequel. sequel. This yeah, is a yeah, legitimate just... movie I believe that everybody needs to watch. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Before it's off of Netflix. I am um, it's so fun. glad we watched It's this. fun, and if you're American, you can get behind it with yeah. the American thing of re revolting against the British. Yeah. If if they come out with a, like a physical copy of this, I am buying it. Steelbook. Nacho, 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 Fuck yeah, Steelbook. Nacho, 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 nacho. Um, I hope the Steelbook has them on, like, on each other's shoulders and like <laughs> shooting guns. No, no look scoping. Okay. As I said at the top of the episode, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I say we do this final part with nothing but hand gestures because that's how we should have the entire episode. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> GoPro, stop recording.